Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are trying to solve a machine learning dataset using Python, TensorFlow and Keras. So and we also detect our pneumonia. So what is that pneumonia detection? Okay, so here's our dataset. We already downloaded in from Kaggle. So here's the chest free image for pneumonia. So this project is also based on the pneumonia detection. So I already implement my code in my Jupyter notebook and you all see in my tabula text. So here's the output, okay. So let's click on Ctrl B for running and show the demo. And I already implement a desktop application when this program is run, okay. You can see a desktop application. So this application actually um, built using uh, PyQt5. So if I click on upload image and Click on let's say deletion. Uh, click on normal. So this is a normal image and open here. And uh, you can see path. Uh, click on the prediction. Result is normal. You can see the result is normal. It's artificial bias. Okay. So let's click on upload image and choose for new media. So this one uploaded. And click on uh, prediction. Affected by pneumonia. So we can hear uh, artificial bias affected by pneumonia. So let's close it. So I trained my model in my Jupyter notebook. Okay. So let's go here. So here's the Jupyter notebook kernel. I already implemented my code here. Okay. So in this project, I am using this car of, uh, I mean, transfer learning uh, technique to solve this data set. So there's a various types of architecture in transfer learning, let's say BZ16, BZ19, RASNet 50, okay? So first we are importing the warnings because I'm using this Python 3.6 and TensorFlow, um, uh, TensorFlow 1.5, okay? So first we have to import TensorFlow also be and, okay? So let's put it here, import, import tensor flow as tf okay and from tensorflow import the keras i think i already implement i already uh, input it here in my max cell okay not okay so from tensorflow we are importing the keras because uh, keras is the backend of tensorflow so in keras there's some uh, building architecture like say uh, bz16 bz19 and rest and shift, okay so from keras dot layer we are importing the input and lambda dance and also in the flatten okay and the next one you can see using a tensorflow back in here so we are inputting all the necessary libraries from carol's that model you inputting the model and the application you are using this bz16 and the front of bz16 using the pre-process input and this pre-processing using ar image and you also import the image data generator for this data argumentation image okay um and you also import the numpy and sequential model here and also globe function and globe library here and also map problem. so first we are um uh, say our import image have the actually basically containing three channels so it's also called the rgb channel so i put here only two here so in the next one i put here the third number kernel in third channel okay so let's uh, skip it so you have to put here the training path okay so after downloading this data set click on download okay so it's contains some folder okay uh it's containing three folder check it out here okay it's containing three folders so first one is the test and training and the validation okay so click on data set and you can see test train and validation so in this test there are the two classes and for train also same as the test and validation you also same two classes uh, and pneumonia and the normal so let's name it here and go here okay and we are uh, put here our path so we did it and slash train and also the test path we are put here the uh, data set test okay and you can see bz16 we are um uh use this bz16 to um 
predict our model. So we are importing here the view system. For input shape, we have to put here the RGB channel. So in our image size, we have a two channel, and we are adding the third one, plus three. So and we are also initialize our white as the image net. Why actually image net? Because image net is a platform where uh, many programmer, I mean many developers are developing um, some model, and we're using this model here. Okay as initially because it's called the transfer line so include tough equal to false why false because uh, they are uh, solving more than 100 okay more than 100 100 of classification problem but in my case is uh, the only two classification is also called the binary classification so that's why we put here include tough equal to false okay and for layer in bz16 that layer is put here trainable equal to false because we are not perform any training operation here okay and we are take the training path i mean not a training path actually within the globe function for uh, taking this data set and the training um into this training folder okay so the so globe function first go to this uh let's say data set and go to this training and it will find two classes so the globe function actually return this folder length okay and you also import here the fat and liver okay and at the output layer okay and make a uh, variable for prediction and using the dash layer so simply put your length function okay length function and we are the um, getting the uh, length of this uh, folder and put into our dash layer and activation function using the softmax so why actually softmax because it is the input layer so input layer they have is one or zero and it also have a binary classification problem so that's you have put here as softmax activation function so there are various types of activation function let's call a rel activation function okay and now it's time to create our model here okay so create model so model equal model and input as a basis dot input and the output we are put here the prediction so let's talk the summary of our model so here's the summary of our model so total params and the trainable parents and non trainable parents okay so now we have to compile our model so as a loss we are using the categorical cross interview and the optimizer using the atom so there is a various type of optimizer let's say gradient um gradient descent okay or there's the types of optimizer okay and the matrix we are using this accuracy so now we are uh, taking i mean using this image data generator for data argumentation okay so for this process uh, simply use this image data generation function so in this uh, it takes several several types of parameters so first one the real scale so why actually real scale uh, for example your data is um, so low i mean low means there is low amount of data in your folder so this data aggregation would help you to create more amount of data uh, it should be zooming or it should be sharing and it should be for the file so you also put here the rescale equal to 1 by 255 because this uh, actually this image are containing 0 to 255 value so we are dividing this using the 25 and make it a rescale and share range put here 0 0.2 and the zoom range is put here 0 0.2 and we are using horizontal split equal to true. So for this test data, I mean te test data generator, we need to put here the zoom lens, I mean zoom range or shear range and the horizontal plane because um, this test uh, data generator actually help you to uh, predict your model and give you the accuracy, okay? And for the training set, we put here, uh, because we have to, Okay, make sure you provide the same target size as initialize for the image size. What actually? Because we already initialize our image size as 2 to 4. Okay, 2 to 4. Two to four. Okay, so where is it? So now we have to flow from data our directory. So first it's go to the data set. Okay, this one, my data set. And go to this train. This data set here. Okay, that's written here. Data set and train. Go to the train set and it will find two classes okay so actually it will help you to find the classes okay so as target size you put here two to four two to four okay and best size put here less 
10 or back to position. If in the put here at 20 or let's say 30, okay, it's up to you because in my case, uh, my computer is so slow, so I'll put here only 10. The class mode should be categorical because pneumonia and the, and the normal, it also should be categorical mode. And it's also the same as the test. After running this program, you can see found 5216, okay, 5216, and this image belongs to two classes, and the found class belongs to two classes, okay. And simply put here the model dot. Now it's time to fit your model using the fit generator. So you have to put here the training set and the validation set. You have to put here the test set. Okay. And epoch I using one because I always tell that uh, my computer is so slow. You can put here simply call epoch is the five. Uh, okay. Or uh, two, three, four, five, ten. Okay. Whatever you can. So more epoch it will uh, give you more uh, accurate accuracy. I mean give you more. Uh, Accuracy. So in my case, after one epoch, I got here 0.987. Okay. So now it's time to um, create our model. Uh, also, oh, sorry, sorry. We already create our model here, and now it's so it's time to save our model. So using the model dot save. Okay. And now it's time to load our model and test it. So from chaos and model, we're inputting the load model. Some wording no problem. So from people seeing inputting the image and people see input also now pi okay. So and we are trying to load our model using chast spray.sy. So after running this program, I mean uh, for epoch completing the five epochs, so it will give you a file. So this file chast spray.sy okay and Okay, so here is it, and we load our model. So here's my here's our testing uh, image with path. So image equal image dot load image. Okay, and the image path and also test size. We are initially this two to four, two four. Okay, and now it's time to convert our image in an array, and we also import numpy also in above. And we also uh, expand our dimension of this image and x is equal to 0. And for image data, you have to fit, uh, put this expand dimension into our pre processing input. So it will pre processing and it will give you the classes. Okay. So classes, it will be predicted the image data. So let's check actually what the actual classes do. So let's put it down in comment. And let's run it again. Okay. Cover us the load model. So we load it. Okay. Okay, the kernel is started actually. So you can see array is one zero. So this classes give me an array, but why actually array? Uh, because this is actually classification problem. So there's a two types of value for first one. Um, it should be one or it should be zero. So why actually one zero? Because of when it will go this site. I mean, go this folder. You can find two folders. So first one is normal as index number zero, and go this numenia. So this index will be one. So it will only give you the two values. So first one is one equal and zero. So this image should be normal. Okay, this should image is a normal image. So let's check it here for normal. So this index will be zero. Okay. Okay. So you can see one here and the zero here. Okay. Because this is a normal image. So it will give this here one. Okay. And give it here a zero. Okay. So now we have to extract our um, value here. So if the value is greater than 0 0.5, so this result will be normal because we put here the normal image, okay? So let's click on here again. And run it. You can see the result is a normal. So result is a normal and the person is affected by numerator. So what actually do it? You can see result class is equal to 0, 0. So what actually 0, 0? 0 mean actually the uh, index of this folder. So in my case, uh, this is the folder of normal, and this is the folder of the linear. Okay. 
So let's assume that this is the normal image, okay? And so we are put here at a class equal to 0, 0. So if the number is greater than 0 0.5, so this will result to be normal. So let's put it down here and another image. Okay. Let's go here and name it here. And let's choose it. And copy this uh, part of the picture. Okay. And put it here. So let's go on properties. Copy it here for control C, close it here, and let's paste it here. So, this is the uh, new mini image. So, next, let's okay. So, let's start for control. I'll actually con shift enter. Okay, okay 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 so person is affected by view mini okay so here's the trick actually so after running this program you can uh, see here a model actually i already talked about that so here's my trainable uh, model so using this model we are making a dax application so here's my dax application code uh, using the PyKit device, so you use huge line of code, okay? So main, uh, I mean main trick is here. So if anyone uh, click on the upload image, so it's go to here, push button or click the connect, okay? And upload image, so it's go to this um, function, or function actually method, okay? So it will first um, call you that, uh, please give me, I mean, please, please select the image. So after selecting the image, you will uh, getting uh, this uh, directory name I order calls calls to call the path name okay so so it also load the model and it's the same as my uh, Jupyter node kernel here okay and finally it will uh, give me result the same as okay result is normal and okay so if we run this program again for control B or uh, this will be open using tensor for backend I also take some time I right, also depend on your system using tensor for backend what 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 where it takes some time I don't know Let's close it again and run it again here. Okay. Oh, it's already open here. Two times. No problem. Okay, it opened. So click on upload image. So let's put here validation. Normal. Let's put it here this one and click on prediction result is normal okay so this result is normal so click on upload image and let's choose for validation ceremony this one and open click on prediction affected by pneumonia you can see artificial bodies affected by pneumonia. So here's the tutorial and thank you guys for watching this video and make sure to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for never miss an update.